Hi all. In the previous lectures, we have learned the reluctance of air gap in various conditions. So in this video, we are going to uh, learn the MMF for air gap in different conditions. So before going to that, we must know uh, what is the total gap contraction factor kg. We have learned the gap contraction factor for slots and gap contraction factor for uh, ducts. Okay, so what may be the total gap contraction factor here? So, uh, the total gap conduction factor Kg is defined as the ratio of reluctance of air gap in machines with the slotted armature and uh, ducts to the reluctance of air gap in machine with the smooth armature and uh, without ducts. Okay. So, uh, the two equations are given here that is reluctance of air gap in machines with a smooth armature we have uh, already learned in the first class that is Lg by mu zero L by S. Okay, that is SG is equal to LG by mu zero L by S is the basic one. And for reluctance of air gap in machines with open armature slots and ducts. Okay, we are considering open armature slots and ducts. So the equation will be LG by mu zero uh, L dash into YS dash. Okay, L dash into YS dash. So uh, just we are putting uh, instead of this L, it becomes L dash and instead of YS, it becomes YS dash. Okay, so... Uh, uh, the total gap conduction factor kg will be the ratio of these two values okay so the kg is uh, we can write as lg by mu zero l dash into ys del by lg by mu zero l into ys okay so lg and mu zero is cancelled and we will get it as ys by ys dash uh, into l by l dash okay so uh, we know that ys by ys dash ys by ys dash is known as the gap conduction factor for slots we have already uh, derived in the uh, previous class that is ys by ys dash is equal to kgs and l by l dash is known as uh, gap conduction factor for ducts so kgd so uh, total gap conduction factor kg will be equal to kgs into kgt okay so uh, kg will be the uh, ratio of these two equations okay so uh, sometimes if you want to find the uh, reluctance of air gap in machine with open armature slot and ducts okay so uh, we have to just multiply uh, the values okay the value kg with this one okay that is if you want to find this value we have to just multiply the value kg with that of the smooth armature case okay likewise we can find uh, the reluctance of air gap in machine with the uh, open slots and ducts okay so uh, uh, it's very important uh, it is a uh, simple equation you must uh, remember it okay kg is equal to kgs into kgd that of slots and ducts okay and next we are uh, entering to the uh, mmf of air gap okay so uh, in the pre previous classes uh, we have learned that that is MMF per meter of path in non-mantic material that is MMF per meter okay MMF per meter means it is uh, normally denoted as we know that it is H okay or it is denoted as small letter AT okay small letter AT or H okay and uh, we know that the equation for H or AT is B by mu zero okay amount of per meter amount of per meter okay this is not the total amount of it is amount of per meter so b by mu zero and we know that uh, mu zero value of mu zero is 4 pi into 10 ratio minus 7 and it will be equal to 8 lakh into b and its unit is ambitance per meter so b is the flux density in non-mantic material and mu zero is the permeability of the non-mantic material and normally the non-mantic materials like uh, air copper etc have a constant value of permeability okay uh, so the BH curve, uh, if you are drawing the BH curve for these uh, materials, uh, it will be a straight line passing through the origin. Okay. So amount per meter of the uh, path in non-mantic material will be equal to 8 lakh into B. Okay. So uh, if you are going to find the total MMF in rotating machines, okay, that is we have to consider uh, the uh, open type slots and silent pole machines etc. Okay, normally the iron surfaces around the air gap are not smooth in many of the rotating machines. Uh, the reason uh, behind is that is the non-uniform air gaps are mainly due to three conditions that is in machines with the open and semi-closed loads. Okay, 
uh, in that cases mainly the flexor is concentrated on the teeth and uh, if you are providing radial ventilating ducts also uh, the surface may not be smooth okay these are provided mainly for the cooling purposes and also in the case of uh, saline pole machines the uh, air gap is not uniform okay so in these three cases the air gap of the rotating machines are uh, not uniform so we have to consider we have to uh, uh, consider that case while we are deriving the mm of equation okay so first we are going to find the mm of air gap in machines with a smooth armature okay smooth armature so for that uh, you know that uh, the equation is uh, the mm of per meter of air gap we have uh, already uh, seen that equation that is at small letter at or h okay it is equal to b by mu that is here we are considering the average flux density that is b a v by mu okay and b a v by mu is 4 pi into 10 ratio minus 7 okay it is actually uh, the amount of air gap therefore mu will be mu zero so 4 pi into 10 ratio minus 7 we will obtain it as 8 lakh into b a v okay you have to consider the average flux density here okay m of air gap in machines with a smooth armature we are considering the average flux density okay so um, here if you want to find the total mm of okay if you want to find the total mm of, of air gap okay here it is only the mm of per meter so if you want to find the total mm of we have to multiply these values with the total length of the air gap lg okay so this is the mm of per meter only if you want to find the total mm of we have to multiply this with the total length lg so mm of required for air gap of length lg in machines with a smooth armature atg is equal to 8 lakh into bav into lg okay so 8 lakh into bav is mm of per meter so total mm of will be we have to multiply that value with lg so 8 lakh bav into lg so this is the uh, equation for mm of equation for smooth armature okay and next we are going to find the mf of air gap in machines with the open armature slot and radial ventilating ducts we are considering a machine with the open slots and radial ventilating ducts okay so normally the reluctance uh, for this case will be higher than with that of the smooth armature case okay the smooth armature is uh, of, find it as uh, 8 lakh into ba into lg so uh, here it will be higher than that okay so uh, we know that uh, the ratio of the two reluctances okay that is um, the ratio of two reluctances we have uh, learned in the previous slides that is kg okay that is reluctance of air gap in machine with a smooth armature uh, with that of reluctance of air uh, sorry uh, uh, smooth armature without ducts and reluctance of air gap in machine with the open armature slots and ducts okay so um, the ratio of these two will give the kg here okay so based on that value kg we can find the mm of uh, of air gap uh, in machines with open slots and radial ventilating ducts that is uh, if we know based on this equation if we know the reluctance of smooth armature for finding the reluctance uh, with the open slots and radial ducts we have to multiply this reluctance that is that of two uh, smooth armature with the kg okay so if you want to find the mm of of air gap in uh, machines with the open slots and radial ventilating ducts we have to multiply uh, the mm of of smooth armature with that of kg okay with the kg so that's we are applying here that is m of required for air gap in machine with uh, open armature slots and ducts is equal to kg into uh, total m of for smooth armature okay total m of smooth armature we know 8 lakh into bav into lg so it becomes uh, kg into 8 lakh into bav into lg that is 8 lakh into bav kg lg so uh, this is the mm of equation for uh, with the open armature slot that is m of, of air gap in machines with the open armature slots and ducts okay uh, that is very very simple just we are multiplying the value kg with that of the previous value that is of the smooth armature case okay and uh, uh, next one is that is uh, in the saline pole machines okay that is uh, effect of saliency we have to consider while uh, writing the 
m m of equation m m of air gap okay so uh, for a silent pole machine we know that the air gap length is not constant okay so actually to find the m of in this case we have to consider the length of air gap as an effective gap length by kg sil into lg okay that is uh, lg is the uh, air gap uh, and we know that the air gap is not uniform because it is a silent pole machine okay so we are considering an effective gap okay effective gap by multiplying that lg with a constant kg sil this KGSL means it is the gap contraction. Okay, sorry, this is a gap contraction factor for salient poles. Okay, so uh, we are uh, using that case here, that equation here. So for calculating the amount of air gap in salient pole machines, whether it is a DC or AC machines, equation will be 8 lakh into BG into KG into LG. Okay, so here instead of BAV, it becomes BG because uh, for calculating ATG, that is amount of four air gap in silent pole machines, the maximum gap density BG is considered instead of BAV. Okay, that is very very important for the case of silent pole machines. For calculating the amount of, we are we are considering KBG. That is the maximum flux density BG instead of BAV. In the previous cases, it was BAV. Okay, here also it was uh, BAV. Okay, for our match slot and uh, radial wind index it was BAV but for salient pole machines we are it is BG okay so BG into KG into LG so here KG means uh, not only the KGS into KJD we have to consider KGSL also that is the gap contraction factor uh, for salient poles that is KGSL okay so KG becomes KGS into KJD into KGSL okay so uh, kg is the total gap contraction factor including the effect of salient c okay so m of our gap for salient pole machine is 8 lakh into bg into kg into lg but here uh, B kg is kgs into kgd into kgs okay for all other cases uh, for all the previous cases that this kg will be equal to kgs into kgd only okay but here for salient pole case kg is equal to kgs into kgd into kgs sale okay so uh, the maximum uh, the maximum flux density bg okay sometimes uh, if a question asks like this okay uh, it may, may it may not contain the value bg so the maximum flux density can be estimated from the knowledge of the field form factor kf okay that is field form factor kf or the pole pitch psi okay if in the question this bg is not given uh, the question should contain uh, the value of psi that is pole pitch okay pole pitch psi or the field form factor kf okay kf uh, so if any of the term is there in the question we can find the bg okay bg using this equation that is field form factor kf is the ratio of average gap flux uh, density to the maximum flux density that is bav by bg okay or if uh, psi is given okay uh, psi is given that is uh, we also obtain the bg as bav by psi okay sometimes uh, this uh, field form factor kf uh, will be equal to uh, the psi that is the pole pitch uh, it is also uh, given in the question okay so normally the pole pitch will be pole arc uh, that is uh, some conditions may be the uh, that is we will discuss in the next modules that is uh, for a, a square pole phase cases uh, we are uh, considering that uh, value psi as the polar to pole pitch ratio okay so here uh, you uh, only consider that is uh, the psi okay that is the psi is the polar to pole pitch ratio okay ratio of pole arc to pole pitch okay normally it will be uh, given in the question okay pole arc to pole pitch ratio psi okay uh, so here uh, bg can be find from these two equations okay if kf is given uh, bav uh, by bg is kf also if psi is given we can also find bg uh, as bav by psi okay so uh, if bg is not given in the question we can find using any of the two values kf or psi okay 
so that's about the today's uh, session i hope all of you understand well okay uh, try to uh, learn the mmf for different cases by comparing the different cases so thank you